Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison between Baccarat Rouge 540 and uh, the Extrait and the Eau de Parfum. So if you like to know my thoughts, then keep watching. Now, I did two reviews on each of these. I did a review of Baccarat Rouge Eau de Parfum so long ago at my old horrible, disgusting background. And I did the Extrait last year when it came out. And I also did a comparison with Carlos Antina on Carlos's channel, so I'm gonna link those three videos below. I wanted to do an updated review on both of them in comparison, not a review, but comparison for you guys, and kind of really kind of drive in my thoughts on why each of them are unique and different and why they also work really well together. So let's get into it. Let us talk about Baccarat Rouge. Now, this is one of the fragrances that has become an icon. This is a fragrance that everybody knows, everybody has an opinion on. It's very polarizing, but overall, a lot of people really enjoy it. And it's probably the most popular fragrance since Le Mal that Francis Carjan has come up with. And like Le Mal, it is a game changer. So I'm not gonna get into that, but there is a lot of love and there's a lot of support and a lot of vitriol that is thrown at this scent just like any scent that is super hyped up now the two fragrances i've reviewed you probably know what they smell like so i'm not really going to go into the notes i'm going to go into the difference between each of them and so you have this one right here this is the classic this is the original one that came out this is what stole the show this is the eau de parfum now this smells on most people they get a burnt sugar think candy floss cotton candy it's sweet it's warm it's sexy it's inviting a lot of people really love it but some people also just can't stand that sweetness it can come off too sweet a little bit juvenile. Me personally, it's a beautiful mix of all the notes and it just comes off really sexy, warm, and cozy. I love this scent. I love it. It's also very well known for its crazy projection and excellent longevity. So that is the Eau de Parfum. The main difference that I get between the Eau de Parfum and the Extrait, which is this one right here, has to be with the added um, almond note. Now these are luxury price. This is in the States $300 I believe and this is $425 and if you're wondering I bought these so this wasn't sponsored. These weren't given to me. I bought these full price. Throwing that out there. Um, I just love these scents so much. So the added make sure it doesn't have my fingerprints on it. There we go. The added almond note, the bitter almond note, changes the tone of the scent. It smells the same. It smells like Baccarat Rouge. We're not talking about the intensity or the formulation of the um, formula. We're talking about how the fragrance smells. So this smells different than this. Each one of them smell different. So you could easily get them both, like me. Just be crazy like me and get them both anyway even if they smell the same this one the added almond note gives it a note of instead of it being burnt dry sugar like candy floss i like to say it smells more like molten caramel it's more of like a wet syrupy deeper sweetness it's not kind of a light crackling sparkly sweetness of the eau de parfum now you would think the extra would last longer and be louder but mm -mm, not at all the Eau de Parfum is longer lasting and louder. The Extrait doesn't last as long. It lasts about six to eight hours. It's pretty good. And it does not project that much at all. It is actually a lot closer to the skin and more intimate. I like to say this is more for a party if you're making a, fir if you're making a first impression and you want to kind of command the crowd. This is more for lovers. So if you're going on a date and you want to wear something sexy just for them, this is a great one. So the biggest question is, which one do you need to get both of them? If you have one, do you need the other? And that completely depends on you. I think, and I truly think, that if you were only to get one of these, you should get this one. Because of the longevity, because of the lasting power, and just because I think that the burnt sugar note in here makes it really spectacular, really playful, really beautiful and sensual and sexy, I really don't think you can go wrong 
if you're deciding between these two to get this one. This one will fit all of your needs. However, this one smells just different enough where I think that you could get away with getting this one on top of this one as well. Should you get this one over this one? I think it depends. I think some of the beauty of this one is just the love for this one. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think that if you have the Eau de Parfum and you love the Eau de Parfum, the x is a perfect mate for it. It's something that you can wear if it's your signature scent, but you're going someplace where you don't need to be so loud so you can still smell the way that you like to smell and smell like you if it's your signature scent without being super loud and obnoxious because it can be that loud to where it's obnoxious. But I also think that um, the x straight smells different enough where you could get it on its own outside from the Baccarat. But if you don't like the Baccarat and you're trying to decide between the two, I don't really feel comfortable saying get the x straight over the Eau de Parfum, I'd say get the Eau de Parfum because it's the classic, it's the reason why the x straight is so popular, it's the reason why the x straight is so beautiful, is that foundation of beauty and power and projection and longevity and just uniqueness that is the original Eau de Parfum. So I would say one over the other, get the Eau de Parfum. It's cheaper, it lasts longer, and it'll probably perform the way you would hope something would perform at that price point. Now, why get both? And other than, you know, if you have a signature scent or if you're a collector like me, I actually think them layered together create something really unique and beautiful. I think that that mix of dry sugar and kind of more syrupy caramel comes together and creates something really ridiculously beautiful. And I like the fact that they don't really layer together. It's kind of like a parfait where there's like different layers rather than like you mix it in and you mix everything up together and it's one color. So what I like is the fact that effort, the effervescent, light, sheer, strong, sweet scent of the Eau de Parfum is great for the people that are within like a five mile radius. But the x straight is where if you have a, um, a party, friends, more intimate acquaintances that are closer to you, they'll be able to experience that as well. So it's kind of like two different layers and I love that. And I like again the burnt sugar with the molten caramel kind of like feeling that they both have. I think that that's really unique and sexy and they kind of work really get, work really beautifully together to create a unique experience. So if you're one of those people that likes little different nuances in your fragrances and you love a Baccarat Rouge Tri 40, I definitely recommend getting them both in layering. But again, if you only wanted to get one over the other, I would recommend the Eau de Parfum. You don't even get me started on the body oil. That's tomorrow's video. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a whole other layer. So that's my thoughts. My thoughts are that um, comparing them together, they kind of have the same feel, the same smell, obviously. The biggest difference is the bitter almond note, which I think makes the tone less youthful and playful of the burnt sugar, a little bit more sultry and more intimate with that kind of like molten caramel. But don't take my word for it. I got a giveaway for you guys. I forgot to mention in the beginning, I'm sorry. So nice. So I have a sample of the Baccarat Rouge Eau de Parfum and the x -Trait. And I have two sets of these. Two. Right here. This one's, you know, here we go. And I will give these away to two lucky people. And you can try it out for yourself. If you haven't tried samples of these, if you maybe wanted to see the difference, um, you can have samples to try it out. So there's one set and two sets, so there's two sets. So one will have an extra and not a parfum, and the other one will have an extra and not a parfum. I don't know why I'm having a such a hard time talking about this giveaway right now. To win the giveaway, to win these prizes, all you have to do is comment below and just say you'd like to enter. That's it. And you have to be a subscriber to my channel. And just that's it. Be a subscriber, comment below that you'd like to enter. A winner will be chosen September 15th, and I will notify the winners after September 15th. Usually it's a few days or a week, depending on my schedule. So uh, it's free to enter. It's international, so anyone in the world can enter. And again, how it usually works, it's free to enter. But if you win and you're international, international sometimes there's a few 
uh, duties and taxes, you guys would be responsible for covering that. I've never had that happen, but I always like to mention that it is a possibility. So just keep that in mind. But that's it. So all you have to do to enter is comment below that you want to enter and by September 15th and be a subscriber. There we go. Why is this so hard? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I love seeing this channel grow. I'm just really super duper excited to just see it grow and see so many people enjoy fragrances and being able to interact with so many people. And I would just love to keep this momentum going. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. If you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like videos like this, give it a thumbs down. It lets me know to curate my content and bring you guys the content you like to see. I don't ever get upset at downvotes. Don't feel bad about it. If you usually like my channel and you don't like these types of video, downvoting is fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I will see you next time. Bye.